murders down about 20% here in 2024 compared to last year. FBI data, uh, it was crime in big cities, so more than a million people dropped 11% in 2023. So obviously, that's good news. If you go back to 2022, it was obvious Republicans were running on, on crime and immigration. And I don't want to say the crime thing has has gone away, but clearly the crime statistics have improved. Immigration, talking about for Democrats, has not. So it, it's understandable why Republicans would now shift to really focusing on immigration. That's where you can really get Joe Biden. My thing on, on the crime, and uh, you know, I live in St. Louis. You live in uh, Los Angeles. I, I grew up I grew up in Toledo, Ohio, so I would go to Detroit for any big time event. If we're going to a baseball game, I'm going to Detroit. So it wasn't exactly like I'm around the greatest cities in the United States of America. I'd go to Cleveland, I'd go to Detroit, and I live in St. Louis. <laughs> I've I feel like I have lived I lived in Lansing, Peoria, Toledo, all just cities that have urban centers and there's some crime. I feel like I've always lived in places that have a, a decent amount of crime. I've never felt terribly unsafe or anything, but that's kind of how I feel about this, this issue. I feel like sometimes the, the media and I get it, but the media on the right sometimes portrays it. Like you can't even go into a city. Like you're going into Baghdad. You're going to get <laughs> murdered the second you go into the city. And by the way, just so everybody knows, don't take this out of context. We have, we have crime issues in St. Louis. We absolutely do. Uh, the carjackings and, and car theft is a huge issue. It happened to my wife actually last year, even. Um, so that, that's a huge issue, but I do think sometimes the coverage doesn't match what's actually going on. In the last couple of weeks, my wife and I went downtown to go to dinner. I went downtown for opening day. Now that's a different story. Opening day is a holiday in St. Louis, but still to me, you can go to sporting events. You can go to shows, concerts. We go see comedians, restaurants, and all that. When I go to downtown St. Louis, Hey, I, I do, I'll pay extra to park my car in a spot where I feel safe. 100%. I will pay an extra 20 bucks, whatever it is, to park safely. But I don't think everyone should always fear going into any city. And I think sometimes people feel that way because of media coverage. Yeah, well, first of all, that is a sign of why you have so much appeal to the every to every man because you are you have these roots in these top urban cities <laughs> where you're not a coastal elite you know, like I am living out here in Los Angeles. So that is, that is part of your appeal. Yeah. You would think by some of the coverage, like that, that if I went to like downtown LA, that I would be walking into like a post-apocalyptic hellscape, you know, with like, I would have to come in with armor and, and, and that's not the case. But that said, we do have a crime problem in our big cities, mainly dealing with property crime, with theft, carjackings, people, st that, that is a real thing. It's a real thing where you look, cause I lived in St. Louis, I live near downtown and I spent some time in downtown. My wife worked in downtown. So I saw firsthand some things, uh, you know, I had my car broken into, I know if other people had their cars stolen. I mean, yeah. And, and here in LA, there's definitely a homelessness issue. That is a real thing. So there are real issues and we should acknowledge those and, and talk about them, but we also should put them into perspective and, the crime rates overall, especially for violent crime, are way down. We we talked about this last week when we did our kind of, you know, the sky is not falling on every single thing in American life segment. If you look at the from the it peaked crime peaked in like the late 90s, it has gone down substantially since then. During COVID 2020, crime went way up and even into 2021. And as you and I have talked about before, and so people will write books about this in the future of the years 2020 and 2021, like of the, of the way that I think, you know, there's, there was something going on besides just a pandemic. And what I mean by that is that pandemic and that death and that isolation we felt and, and kind of like the, all of the psychological aspects of that, I think really caused a lot of weird shit to happen. Like traffic accidents, traffic deaths went way up, even nobody was, even though nobody was driving. And so for whatever reason, crime went crazy in 2020 and 2021. And now last year, as you point out, the FBI recorded for the data we have from 2023, the largest drop in the crime and the murder rate in the United States, I think it was 13% that we have seen since they started recording data. That has not gotten a ton of play, but that, you know, look, so, so I, 
as I talk, as we talk about a lot in this show, let's talk about all of it. Yes, crime is up in some areas, particularly property crime. Theft is a big problem out here in Southern California where I live. But at the same time, violent crime and murder down. And as you mentioned, in the first three months of this year, in a lot of big cities, that trend has even accelerated down even more. So so just let's be fair. You know, let's let's celebrate where we're making progress, but also acknowledge where we have, you know, more work to do. Right. And that's that's all I want. My favorite word is fair. I just like context and I like perspective. And when I say this, people are like, oh, you're 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 putting your head in the sand. And that's that's not the case at all, by the way. First baseball game I ever went to, Detroit Tigers. It was probably 1990, maybe 89, 91, whatever year it was. We took our camper. We took our Winnebago. And my dad, who I love to death, but he's on the frugal side. So what do we do? <laughs> Instead of paying, you know, back then, what, five, ten bucks, whatever it was, to park, he's like, no, I'm going to park for free. So what did he do? He parked, you know, six, seven, eight blocks from, from Tiger Stadium. We get back after a great ball game. Somebody had thrown a rock through the window of our Winnebago. Mm. Now, luckily, there was nothing to steal other than some some pots and pans. My point <laughs> is, and I know you're joking about it, but like, it's it's Detroit. It's the city of Detroit. It's kind of always like that. Like, it's not good. It's not good. Right. It just is what it is. And that's why I've had so many arguments with my folks on the radio show the last couple of years, because I do think there's this painting of the picture that that downtown St. Louis is, is Baghdad. And it's the, the worst it's ever been. And I'm thinking I've lived here. What? Since 2008, I've lived here 16 years. I've kind of always thought it was like this. Like there's just, <laughs> there's look, there's places that I didn't want to go in 2008. I still don't want to go to those same neighborhoods in 2016. I feel good going to the Cardinals game. If I uh, park in the patios lot, I feel good going to the Fox theater to see a comedian. If I park in the lot, I went downtown. I parked in a lot. Again, we have problems, but I'm like, St. Louis has kind of always been a little sketchy, right? I mean, come on now. Oh, let me tell you, when I lived there, um, I want to. I think this happened in 2018. I lived in uh, Soulard. Our St. Louis listeners will know where that is. So near downtown, but a fairly nice area. At least it was then. Like you know, it wasn't cheap to live in Soulard. And one morning, I came out and my car was uh, was on blocks. Someone had just taken the wheels and tires just right off my car. It was on blocks. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And I'm in a fairly decent area, but near downtown. So th look, crime is not, is real. It is absolutely a thing for people to be concerned about. I, I think particularly when you have prosecutors, I think this is a real thing. We have one out here in LA, uh, George Gascon, who is up for election this year, who is one of these George Soros funded DAs who the right always complain about. And there's truth to this where we raised in California, the, the threshold for shoplifting up to $950. If you steal under that, it's, it's not a, it's not a felony. And so people are just getting out They're They're not being prosecuted to the extent they should be. And it's created a sense, some sense of lawlessness with, with stealing here in California. That is absolutely true. And I, think it's ridiculous and i want but we can say that and we could talk about that while also acknowledging the tremendous progress that's been made you know on on decreasing murders over the last year and a half like we, it doesn't have to be all terrible or or like we're living in some utopia you know th those are not the only two options <laughs> 